Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So from this, we find capital P is y minus z by yz and capital Q is z minus x by zx and capital R is x minus y by xy. Now, if I divide this individually, that is y by yz minus z by yz, we can cancel y and we can cancel z. So, finally, we have capital P as 1 by z minus 1 by y. In the same way, capital Q is 1 by x minus 1 by z and capital R is 1 by y minus 1 by 1 by y minus 1 by x. Now, to get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now, this is dx by 1 by z minus 1 by y. In the same way, dy by q which is 1 by x minus 1 by z and dz by 1 by y minus 1 by x. Now, we have to use a proper Lagrange's multiplier to get the solution. As a first part, we are going to use the Lagrange's multiplier using Lagrange's multiplier 1, 1 and 1. That is, first let us copy this as it is. We have dx by 1 by z minus 1 by y equal to dy by 1 by x minus 1 by z equal to dz by 1 by y minus 1 by x. We are going to use the regular just multiplier 1, 1, 1. So, first one, we have to multiply with the numerator as well as with the denominator. In the same way, second one, we have to multiply with the numerator as well as with the denominator. And third case also is in the same way. Using the properties of the ratio, we can add all the numerators here, which is dx plus dy plus dz and add all the denominators that is 1 by z minus 1 by y plus 1 by x minus 1 by z plus 1 by y minus 1 by x. Now, we cancel 1 by z minus 1 by z minus 1 by y plus 1 by y 1 by x minus 1 by y. So, we get 0. So, this becomes dx plus dy plus dz by 0. Now, taking the first term and the last term, so we get dx by 1 by z minus 1 by y equal to dx plus dy plus dz by 0. Now, by cross multiplication, this entire term is multiplied by 0. So, we get dx plus dy plus dz equal to 0 and on integrating this both the sides this is x plus y plus z equal to 0 and there is an integration constant c1. Now here we are going to take the another multiplier. So the another multiplier what we can take is 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z. We have to choose a multiplier in such a way that after adding all the numerator and denominators by the ratio property, we are supposed to get 0 in the denominator. So, next multiplier, let us write it here. Using Lagrange's multiplier 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z. 
before that let's copy this dx by we have dx by 1 by z minus 1 by y then dy by One by x minus one by z, and the last is d z by. We have one by y minus one by x. Now we have choose this multiplier one by x. So we have to multiply with the numerator as well as multiply with the denominator. Similarly, one by y here and one by y here. And one by z here and one by z here. Now, adding all the numerators together by using the ratio property, this is one by x dx plus one by y dy plus one by z dz whole division one by x into one by z minus one by y. Plus one by y into one by x minus one by z plus one by z into one by y minus one by x. Now once again, let's keep the numerator as it is: one by x dx plus one by y dy plus one by z dz whole division. Let's multiply this inside. We get one by x z minus one by x y. In the same way, one by y x minus one by y z. In the same way, one by z y minus one by z x. So here, one by z x minus z x. One by x y plus one by x y gets cancelled. One by z y minus one by z y, so everything becomes zero. So once again, writing it, we get one by x dx plus one by y dy plus one by z dz whole division zero. By taking the first term and the last term, first term is dx by one by z minus one by y. Leaving the multiplier, we have dx. By one by z minus one by y, one by z minus one by y, and on the other side, it is one by x dx plus one by y dy plus one by z dz whole division zero. Now this entire term is multiplied by zero by cross multiplication. So we have one by x dx plus one by y dy plus one by z dz equal to zero. On integration on both the sides, this is log x plus log y plus log z equal to zero. And there is a constant. Let's take it as log c two because all the terms are log. Using log rule, log a plus log b plus log c will become the product log a b c. So it is log x y z equal to log c two. And now removing log, we have x y z is equal to c two. So we got c one and c two. Now the general solution. General solution is of the form f of the constant c1, c2 equal to zero, or we even we can name it as a and b. So here it is c1 is x plus y plus z, c2 is x y z equal to zero. So we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation by the Lagrange's multiplier method.